Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday meditation. These meditations are called um, Being Light, Becoming Light. And the focus is to help us all move more light into our thoughts, into our cells, into our lives, and into our bodies. So I began today uh, by picking a card. And this is from a set, Soul Fire, by Rowena Patty Kreider, a very wonderful Renaissance woman who I actually had the honor to know for some time and to work with her. And the card I chose was I Sense. And let me show it to you. It's about the eye. And it's related to what we are seeing in our life. So here we go. The visual sense has its origin in light and cascades down through the imaginal realm into the chemistry of the physical eye. Your skin is a receptor of touch and the eye is skin sensitized to read light codes and interpret forms. You can now enhance your eyesight by recovering its imaginal branches and love light roots. Can you feel how these words are loaded with a banquet of rich harmonics that help us visualize things? Her words are very carefully chosen. I do believe that she was a great channel of the higher realms. To see is to know, and to know is to read the perennial codes of truth contained in your experience. Inner vision and outward sight can become one if you paint what you know. Don't hesitate to lay down colors in form, whether you are experienced in art or not. You are in the presence of your true self. This is wonderful. She is helping us be encouraged to use colors to bring what is in our creative imagination, our visualization, and to put it into this physical realm. And what does that do? It bridges the imaginal, the heavenly divine realm and brings it here into something concrete. Actually, I often do this myself. I keep a journal by the bedside and um, interlaced into our being light time that we spend together. One way we want to continue our spiritual path is to not always talk about etheric things but to make some consistent everyday decisions to do things which support and assist us every day with our decisions. So I actually have, let me get it for you, a huge, now this is more than a journal because you know how you get ideas and you want to not forget those ideas or you see something and then the little pieces of paper go everywhere. Where do they go? In my business file, in my imaginal file, in my journal. So I bought this, it wasn't cheap, like $48. But everything I think about that is creative is first now laid down here. How to form a new space. One day I was too hot. How did my body feel when I was hot? Then we have how to form a new coaching program that is inspiring. How to work with the women's leadership. So think about all the different things in your life that you're compartmentalizing and they are all a part of you and are forming this beautiful, imaginal, inside vision, web of possibilities. And sometimes that thought just goes right in your mind. Good idea. And later you'll say, if only I would have written it down. It had certain details. These are called downloads that form your inner vision that allow you to make a new movie that is brighter and more in alignment with who you really are to take that next step. 
So I love that Rowena has brought that forward. To take the, the inner light in the visions, the light, and to bring it and to paint it into this dimension is very powerful. Secondly, having singular vision is beholding the spiritual essence of things. To be filled with light is to unify all experiences into one. You can now take the inner journey to the pinnacle where inner and outer invert. Uncover the layers of confused experiences and let your gaze penetrate to the point where light originates. Think about that. Where is the point in your body where that light originates? That divine light. Is it like a little beeping antenna in your pineal gland? Is it your heart's immense reach of its electromagnetic field and sensitivity and connection to all love in the universe? Just take a deep breath and contemplate. Where does the light focus? in beam and where does that light come from where does it shine from i often say that sources like a chandelier of the brightest light brilliant shards of divine color and we come down and we are just one little prism as this infrastructure this part of the source because we are part of source we are part of this large grid and we are one prism, and we let that light shine through us in our shape and the precise little cutting of this facetry of the prism that we are is different than any other being ever created or ever living on this planet, like a snowflake. So, let's go back to that original thought. Where does the light Come to me. Where is this point where the light originates? Being in this realm of light releases all judgment, doubt, and incomplete striving. Let go of masks, self-identities, dogmas, and opinions, and just see. What is at the heart of your soul's vision? This is so rich and so all-consuming, what, what she is saying here in this one card. Let your sight be the sight of the Creator, but slightly unique in your own passion and your own flavor. I read yesterday, there's a woman, her name, I guess, cookie and she's on some show i don't watch television but the reason they love her and she said it's people love people who are out of the box and unique and very passionate and different when did you decide to copy other people to play it safe to be good to not go outside of the lines and yet you admire people who are on fire creative, over the top, and have that courage. It's because we've been programmed to live through constrictive, restrictive structures and fear in our fear-based society. So a large part of what I'm doing in these meditations is to understand and identify the fears and to take a deep breath and to plunge and make little behavioral decision changes every day on all of all parts of yourself your physical existence your spiritual connection in your relationships and also in your work world so as we let go of masks self identities dogmas and opinions and just see Let's say it again. What is at the heart of your soul's vision? Allow yourself to be called to vision and prophecy, fulfilling the I's mission. 
The I is the wound in the skin and brain that heals as you respond to light and color. So, sound, light, and color. It is the vibrational matrix of which are the building blocks of what all is constructed of, and the vibrational aspect is the movement and the potential for reconstruction. So when I say anything in the body, in the mind, anything in this world is of a certain density, and by applying the right quantities, qualities, uh, and essences with the right intention through movement, vibration of these particles of sound, light, and color, um, we can bring ourselves into the magic and miracle zone of life, of which we're going to do now. Let's go ahead and do some meditation together, and let's work on the, base, the basics. In my becoming light, uh, my becoming light and being light um, coaching program, I break up the human experience into four levels, and I start with the physical realm. So let's go ahead and work very deeply on our nervous system today to relax and unwind some of those tighter little nuts and bolts that keep us cranked up that we can't even meditate. Let's start at the beginning. Okay. So go ahead and make sure that you're comfortable and find a nice a way to sit up nice and straight with no distractions, no noises, no other people. So if you need to go shut the door or put your day planner away, and actually I'm going to turn my phone off right here. And let's begin. Take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We place a whole lot of balance over our entire body. And this is a geometric structure with, which resonates and is a form that holds our energetic consciousness in perfect balance with everything beyond ourselves. Imagine that there is a woven lacy grid that holds the vibrational field of all that is from the creator through the galaxy down to the earth to yourself, and that it is a perfected geometric web, and that you are residing safely and calmly, perfectly held like a hammock, a universal hammock. Take a breath through your nose and out through your mouth, and just feel in this moment, in this presence, the shift that you've already made towards just being and experience a sense of lightness and being light. Now we are going to lighten up even more by using our thoughts and our intention to remove more heaviness out of the body, old thoughts, old issues, other people's energy. So this is a very, very simple process. Take a breath through the nose and out through the mouth and we use those wonderful words again. I ask and intend to remove everyone else's energy out of my energy field now. And I assure you that simply being in this sacred space and asking with your heart, it is a message to the universe and it is done. It is accomplished. So just allow. It's hard to see the pictures of perhaps a, a needy uh, friend or a angry boss who may be putting some pressure on you. But these are all energetic um, 
like a, like mists of thoughts that kind of go through and they start sticking on you and staying and kind of running through you as if they're yours. So we're spending a, a little bit of time on right now, allowing this to simply be pulled out of your system like a magnet. Imagine that these thoughts of other people, these issues related to all other beings, even the news, the media, politics, all of this, we're going to pull out of your energy field. It's called care. It's called worry. It's called interference. We want to bring it to a place where you choose what to think about and focus and to realign so that it can be healed for the earth. But if we're clogged up, it's like a drain. The fluid can't get through. The divine messages can't get through if the channels are clogged up with your children's problems and your boss and someone else's health problems. So just allow this energy to be like a <laughs> uh, heavenly draino, just pulling away and you are clearing and you are making a place of light within your entire physical being now. Now notice anywhere in your body that you are carrying stress. Often it's in the shoulders, in the back of the neck, fatigue in the back of our throat, tension in our stomach. So just go ahead and feel into your body where you might be feeling this tension. These are areas the light can't get in. Excellent. Okay. So let's continue our Be the Light meditation process by asking and intending that our spirit guides be present here with us now. Now they can be anybody that you imagine them to be. Angels, relatives who have passed over, divine beings, there is a, a ladder to source, and there's many pictures of helpers, so you get to decide. Someone that you resonate and feel comfortable and nurtured and safe with. And let them be present here with you now. And just feel that. More universal support simply by your asking and beckoning in a nanosecond. I had a friend the other day who said that she's often had to move by herself and to move large furniture or to move a big carpet as what we were doing at that moment, trying to put a huge rug into the back of my car. It was like birthing a baby backwards, pushing it back in. She said, I just asked my angels to give me a little oomph. And yes, assistance is just one ask away. Let's take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. And I hope that at this point you are experiencing more of a sense of not aloneness, but just solo, just me. More room. I am here. And now I am more in touch with the tension in the areas in my body that are holding denser, more restrictive energies that are causing me physical pain. Physical pain is a result of letting energy of thoughts or long-term constrictive fear thoughts, other people's energies, come into our system over and over again. <clears throat> then dis-ease forms a lack of flow in the system. So first a little, we're doing a little house cleaning. And then we'll do the third step of the Be the Light procedure, which is we make an intention. We make an intention that in this meditation, in our seeking, to create more space, to have more inner vision, 
to see a new movie and to color it and to bring it forth, that first we clear out our physical body and our space of these heavier clogging energies, many of which <clears throat> are not even our own. They're energies that we have merged with and we have embodied, even unconsciously, feeling that we are being good friends, good mothers, good healers, whatever it is. So go ahead and take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. So now we ask and intend that the Creator is providing a beautiful formula of colors for you, resonances, vibrations in a beautiful golden pot and stirring them up, effervescent, healing, beautiful, recoloring bubbles of light. And simply using our creative imagination, we are bathing our body, but it's not just going on the outside. Specifically, it's going into our nervous system. Our nervous system is so important to re-regulate because that's our reactivity. It's our defensive posturing. It's how we got all these denser, tense areas all set in. Our nervous system doesn't feel safe, so it constricts. <clears throat> so we're going to allow this energy of the great chandelier of source, this light, to come down and to bathe our skin and to begin to absorb it like a super oxygenation cleansing formula through our skin, but to pour down into our brain. Ah, yes, it feels wonderful. Let this energy come into your brain and imagine that these large truncated nerve pathways are being resheathed, remyelinated into a healthy, vibrant, resilient, flexible new matrix that is in alignment with your new thoughts. We are releasing all of the trauma, all of the little tightly wound, bound nerve reactive patterns that have followed you up to this moment. We are asking our higher self and our assistants to come in and to very gently unwind these little tight ropes of nervous system defensive avoidance patterns that served us at the time, but we now with gratitude and love release these nervous system patterns completely. We remove these patterns from our spinal cord. We remove all the resulting chemicals from our cells. We remove the expectancy, the apprehensive patterns of fear, even before something happens when we're afraid it will happen. We are removing the triggers, the sights, the smells, the activities, in the past have incited this hyper excitation of the nerve bundles, putting us into fear, panic, avoidance. We, in fact, are becoming free and we are unwinding a major rope of tension within our nervous system, in our the base of our skull and in our brain now. We ask that all tension, imagine that you're going from being an ice cube into very gently, slowly melting, relaxing and becoming a warm pool, a very relaxing, mixture and matrix that is favorable to your complete safety and letting go now. 
We ask and intend that we repattern this old way of being with a new belief system and inner tranquility that life is safe, that we are protected. No matter what other people do or think, we can make wonderful choices and in every moment can stay centered and grounded in our absolute peace. Just spend a moment and let this sink into your nervous system now. Take a nice deep cleansing breath. We balance the hemispheres of our right and left brain. We harmonize the trunk of our body. We smooth any hyper excitation or adventitious activity. We relax our eyelids deeply. We relax our facial muscles deeply. We let go of any tension in our upper palate, in our tongue, and our throat, so that we may speak our truth calmly and gently. We unwind the tension in our upper chest and in our stomach. We forgive ourselves that it has taken this long to understand and to remaster our system. We open our heart to gratitude. We forgive all the other people that have brought these energies into our body, however traumatic or however small. We are choosing at our deepest level to let go and to trust the divine flow of light from universal source into your body. And when I said that, where do you see this light coalescing and shining forth out of your body? Just trust the answer and let that be a little pulsing beacon and let this bath of the Creator's light of these new harmonics drench this area that you have chosen as your headquarters and beam it out through your body. So remember, we have a bath coming on our skin now. We have this essence coming down through our body, permeating our body, and now it's beaming from the inside out. It's pushing out anything that is not of your highest light. And you are now beaming out into the world. And when you are beaming out this light in a whole homogenous way, nothing can get in. You have created a dominant frequency of yourself, of your light, of your uniqueness, your brilliance. Just rest into that for a moment. Just imagine that it's permeating every single cell within your being. Beautiful. That it's re matric, 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 I can't say it, matriculating every single cell. Sending out the old ways and the old energies and bringing in this delightful balm, balm of healing, warm, gentle, peaceful, relaxing energy now. Ah, beautiful. 
At this point, you're probably feeling little waves lapping of this energy coming up, perhaps even coming up and out the top of your head, feeling very wonderful. And now feeling the energy go down out the bottom of your feet. It's too much energy to contain. So now you're creating a full circuitry down to the earth, letting your energy flow down into the earth and connecting with source, beautiful, above your head. So now feel that it is this beautiful, mar that word again, I'm gonna have to look it up, circuitry through the cosmos, through your body, and there's not any area where you're holding. Nope, not safe, don't want to feel that. No, everything is moving. Compare it to how you used to feel and how you're becoming light and feeling it now. To whatever degree, there's no right or wrong. Maybe you're feeling it just a little bit in one of your channels. It's all good. But just imagine that even more of those particles of heaviness are being lifted out through this cleansing circuitry. Deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Oh. Excellent. So, what I would like to invite you to do is to continue this meditation here, now, simply by uh, basking in this state and remembering that you can just use your creative imagination to keep moving energy and then keep moving back to that thought of where is my inner eye? Where can I see the codes of life, the pictures and images that I can bring out into the world through my words, through my passion, through my painting, through my dancing, whatever it is? Because essentially, we have made more room now for that to come through more easily, to bring your life more light, more joy, more just beingness. So, when you finish your meditation, if this is your first time to join me, I invite you to create a beautiful, golden, resilient egg around your whole field. And this allows for, uh, it's kind of resilient. Other things can bounce off. Other people's thoughts or issues or problems or agendas or designs for you. You are in charge within this energy field, which is constantly pumping out for deeper cleansing and clearing and bringing in more light. It's like you're becoming almost like a helium balloon, but we'll keep you here. We'll have more meditations and learn more ways to work with your wonderful energy field. So thank you for joining me today. I am Jan Stracone at soundandlighthealingarts.com. Thank you.